Hey, uh, welcome back. We have just left the Ratway, and we are headed up to collect on some debts. So let's get started. Um, I actually quite like to do the optional stuff just because it's kind of a lot of fun. Um, oh, I do. I I recalled something that I was going to say, but I'll say it in a few minutes. Um, I like just because it adds a little bit of depth and stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I usually do... I'll tell you about one. I'll tell you about it when it comes. Like, literally, I have this, like, all planned out in my brain how it's gonna work out. Which is kind of sad. Okay, so I have to talk to Talon J. What do you want? Uh, you might want to talk some sense into Kirava. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then help me convince her to pay. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Um... If yeah, so this me, this is I what bugs people, I think, about do. Skyrim, is that, uh, like, I just, like, exploited him for information about his lover over there, um, but I can what still talk to him and ask how he met Kirava. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago, been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh, I could find those for you. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Um, I can still... Like, he'll still ask me to go get the jewels for his wedding band, even though I just exploited if his relationship me, with her. <laughs> other things to attend to. Uh, I think, I think the idea was that in previous games... Here for a room or something to drink? That would, uh... Some coin first. Those would be exclusive. Like, I would have to do the Amethyst one first before exploiting him, or else it wouldn't be available. But I just want to do all, all the quests. Uh, are you ready to pay Brynja off what you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should vis visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. No more trouble from me. She sounds like an old lady. It's really funny. Uh... And then we'll go talk to Helga. Helga, hey look, here's a uh please. Have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divine's bless. I feel like she has she's got five gold and a lot. Okay. You're kind. Yeah. As I just like look in your pockets. Helga rents a bunkhouse for all the workers. Can I help you? So I don't have to have a house. Huh? Okay. Uh, if you're looking for a room, try the B and Bar. This place is for the working man. I have a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. This isn't about the money anymore. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. We've run out of patience. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. So then if we come over here, she's got this really pretty statue of Devella, which is probably unique. I think most other ones are just solid gold that don't have these really cool jewels in the bottom. Um, so we're gonna take that. And we're gonna come... Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. So, should I drop this statue down a well? 
Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. So she got her statue back, and I got my gold. Um. So now, and I usually do it in this order because I feel bad about harming people's personal property. And I don't know. We might have to wait for Dave for the next one. I bet this guy's stuff is locked. Oh no, it's not. So this is the home of Bercy Honeyhand. He's the uh, merchant here. And he has this dwarven urn that he is so proud of. Uh, and I could talk to him. Um, or I could just start beating it up. But if I talk to him first... Oh no, you're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? I have a message from Brynjolf. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look. Oh, and look. I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. Uh, if you get two of the three, the last one will not will not offer any resistance. So I didn't have to destroy his precious dwarven urn, which is nice. Just saying. I don't like destroying things that people care about. I'm a nice person on the inside. Hey, here's a thief. What was that? Blazed candles? Is that what that said? Uh, I'm seeing it over here. Blazed candles. <gasps> what is that? What is that? It's clutter, but it's nev I've never seen this, like, pick up a bulk clutter before. That's amazing. I'll have to put that on my shelf back in my awesome house. I'd be very proud of it. I suppose it could be a... Uh, it could be a mod, <laughs> honestly. It could be a mod that I've added uh, that I just was not aware of. But it's always fun to see new things in a game that you've played more than a thousand hours over. <laughs> I'm gonna move you over here, dude. You can come lie with your naked friend on this fire. Maybe eventually you'll... Chill and I won't have to trip over ya. So... So we're amazing, as Brynjolf is about to discover. Oh, that's the face changer. That's right. She just, like, lives down here. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. What's next, then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. Well, not really I practiced. think you'll do more than just fit in around here. You have no idea, dude. Before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing well. True? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. All right. That's my, uh... I'm not even... over 300. Which, considering my carry weight is only 310, isn't saying much. And there are a lot of people back here in this little so, cabinet. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. People walk really, really slowly here. Are you gonna open? Uh, 
Alright. On we go. Lydia. Fine. <clears throat> Move out of the way of a nice man. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, I understand. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. I don't know how well I'm going to do with this. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let her prove it. Mm -hmm. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the theater. Yay! Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I get my cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, yeah. And talk to Tonelia in the flagon. Tonelia. She'll set you up with your new armor. So tell me about the Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, what's so important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't understand the politics of the Bees Guild. I really don't. He explains it in detail, in detail at a later date, and I'm just like, that does not seem like that is a good arrangement for the Thieves Guild. Uh, what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Uh, I don't know what this does. I need more details about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex, and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries? Not Riften guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather. But their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Uh, why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. Mm, gotcha. Maven Blackbriar is the influential client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. 
If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Yeah, I don't understand how that works. So how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. I have spent plenty of time talking you to you about this. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. That's right. Oh gosh, that was disorienting. <sighs> okay. So, let's go back and get our armor, and then I think we'll call this episode good. Um, yeah. I'm super excited to be starting on these guild stuff. Oh yeah. Um, I'm really, really hoping to, uh, be able to not kill people with this quest. Because the mercenaries, like, I don't think I've ever been able to play this without killing them. Um. So, That's you're bringing dirt. up some There's protein, Delvin. eh? Don't look like much to me. Where's Tornelia? Where's Tornelia? she, like, hanging back here in the corner? Where did she go? What time is it? Okay. We'll only wait a couple hours. Maybe she'll show back up after she gets out of bed. Um, I don't know. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. I have no idea where she is. Saw her earlier, and then she left, and I don't know where she went. Oh, yeah. Also, I wanted to talk to Vex. There's Dirge. Bring you There's Vex. All eyes are Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One. I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. Got it. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. I thought I know the drill. Now you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Um. Now it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. So I have this really weird thing where, for some reason, when I talk to AI, even though I know that most of the time Skyrim doesn't affect, uh, like, the outcome. Like, you can offend everyone but still succeed in quests and stuff. Um, I always want to make the AI like me if I can. So I'm always really, like, careful about what I choose to say. Uh, okay, so what sort of business? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. <laughs> They're just funny looking. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. Ah, there she and is. while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Um, I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal jobs. And you can take one from Vex and one from Delvin. And because they already have a hold in Riften, don't take jobs that happen in Riften. Uh because we want to get out and make a name for ourselves in other towns. Um, so, we'll just start with burglary. Tell me about the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. Okay, we'll try you that. ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Sure. I'm in. Fine. Just keep it clean. Here you go. Then you have to wait for the thing to pop up and it tells you where to go. Windhelm. Okay. I can do that. Windhelm is not rifting. But I had more than I wanted so to talk to you about. Okay. Back with good news, I trust? Uh, I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. Hm. Yeah, I did. 
That wood elf's wit is a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. <laughs> uh, any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Okay. Okay. Cool. I don't want a trail of dead bodies leading here. Keep it clean. Delvin, I want to drop you. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? I don't know if I've ever seen his face quite like this before. Uh, I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Yay! Back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeeva instead. Hmm. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Mm-hmm. Curse? What can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. I like roses. Uh, I heard you're offering extra work. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If <laughs> break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Uh, tell me about the numbers jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? I'll do it. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Solitude. Alright. Those two are going to take me a little while to get around to doing. Uh, where did Tony Leah go? Come on, sweetie. There you are. There so you you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Sweet. I'm excited. So then, maybe, do I have any? Why don't you stolen? take a look at some of my merchandise, and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. What do you have? Ooh, you have orcish stuff. Pretty orcish stuff. Mm. A blessed steel sword. Sword. Don't know where that came from. Um... Always good to do weight first. Uh... I don't need three steel maces. You can have that nasty thing. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the scimitar. Have that. Maybe have that. Have that. And then those two and this pot. And those. I can enchant that. Uh, you can have that. The boots, the brazier, the bracers. Uh, uh, you can have 
ragged boots. He can have the rest. I don't even know where I got that. Uh, you can have the necromancer boots. Don't really care about those. You can have plates. Um. Okay, so we're getting down into the stuff that weighs nothing. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Until next time. Thank you, Tonelia. Well, you done or what? Okay. So I have just decided to change my plan and go put some stuff up in my new awesome house. Uh, so this might go a little bit longer than it ordinarily would have. I don't know how long that's going to be. Because I'm not timing it. I probably should be. But I'm not. Which is why I said I had a pretty good instinct for keeping it between 18 and 23-ish minutes. Several of my episodes are in that time frame. And I did it without a timer. But this one I think is going to be quite a bit longer. Maybe it's going to be the Thieves Guild special or something. Lots and lots of talking. Alright. We're headed to Elysium Estate. Yep. Err. Oh, I don't know if I've... I don't think I've been to Windhelm. Okay, so anyway. We'll go in here. At some point I need to go to Riverwood and steal back that golden claw. Okay, so come over here. I don't know that I have any soul gems. Drop off all of my ingredients. Just like this. <sighs> and then someday when I come back, I'm gonna have a ton of stuff waiting for me to be able to do. Uh, knapsack empty. Right. Oh, guys, I really love this house. There's a painting! I did not even see the painting. That's a really fairly pretty painting. <laughs> I really like this house, guys. It's nice. How do you clean up there? Guess you don't. Um. I don't think I have any soul gems. I do. I have a petty soul gem. Awesome. Alright, so I just want to go, basically, I want to go all the way downstairs. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Oh, right. Uh, I think that this is where... Uh. Unique treasures. Okay. So, no. This isn't where the, the treasures are. But I did think there was a place for unique, uh, armor and unique weapons. I believe there's a place for unique armor and unique weapons. I'm hoping the gloves of pugilists go there. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad. Mm, is this it? Arrows and daggers? Daedric artifacts? Uh, unique artifacts? Okay, um... Okay, so no. There's no place for the gloves of the pugilist here. It's very sad, actually. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put my Hammerfell Garb on this guy. Uh, Hammerfell Garb. Alakir hood and red guard boots. I don't know if he can. Can he hold a weapon? Okay, no, he can't. Um, but oh, I gotta put. I gotta equip the weapon. So yeah, nice. And then let's see. Um, I thought I had a helmet on that. Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. 
All right. Well, I am happy with that amount of. So we'll put. I guess we'll put the gloves of the pugilist on one of these guys. I'm really disappointed that there wasn't like a spot for them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be on the lookout for that because I was pretty. Dang it! I was pretty sure that there was. And then we'll come over here. Man, that's just such a cool thing. Come over here, and we'll search. Smelting first. I don't think I have any ores. Nope. Um, smithing? Oh, there's an ore. I have three ores. Right. We haven't really done any of that. Unfinished armors. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe pieces of when you're putting together stuff? I, I don't know if I came to a conclusion about that. Shields. Light armor. Heavy armor. Archery, one-handed, two-handed, staffs, books, okay, hey, oh, that's the Skyrim, I don't think I knew that, awesome, so I can just go directly from outside into my, I don't have to go all the way through the house to get to my cool little smithing cave, sweet, <laughs> sorry, um, I'm, I'm going to check around one more time and make sure that there's no place where I have the, uh, a storage closet. That's so funny. No, this is the kid's bedroom. Um, let's see. Nope, there must not be a place for specific ones. Clothing rack. That's funny. Okay. We're gonna be finished. Um, putting our stuff away. I don't know how much. I'm curious to see how much weight I have. 66. Booyah! Um. <gasps> I think I'm gonna be done for today. Maybe I'll be able to get a little bit more in tomorrow. Maybe not. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll either do Golden Glow or High Hrothgar. Or maybe I'll just head off in some other direction and see what comes my way. I don't I don't know what that's called. Seeing where fortune takes me, maybe? I don't know. Perhaps that's what I'll do. Um Oh! I'm completely naked. How funny, what happened to my Thieves Guild stuff? Let me put that on real quick. <laughs> so now I'm awesome. My armor rating is super cool. And look at me! I'm amazing looking. They'll never see me coming. So, alright. Thanks for hanging out. I'm just gonna sit here and look at my awesome... What is this? Flower Nursery? Is that what they called it? Actually, I'm not going to sit here. I'm going to come sit back here and look at the awesome hot tub. I don't remember what my... Was it a cow? Cow and a goat? I don't remember what their names were. And my chickens are named too. Buttercup and Maud. Hi, everyone. I'm going to come back here and... Take this nice leather and make it all supple. That's what I'm going to do. I wonder if you... I was going to say, can you not sit in here? Alright, guys. Oh, Lydia. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was really funny. I was not expecting that. <laughs> that 
That's hilarious. Uh, I wonder if I get out of here, will she put her clothes back on? What is... I'm sorry. This is funny. There she goes. She's... she's a bad... <laughs> she's a bad <laughs> That's hilarious. With that, I will bid you guys adieu. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, that was amazing. That was hilarious. This episode is definitely going to be having a surprise ending. <laughs> Good night, guys.